Indeed, they were just picking up on that. The Standard Bank and the National Arts Festival have bestowed a collective of talented individuals who reign in the fields of South African arts with the prestigious Standard Bank Young Artist Award for 2022. This morning, we are in conversation with the Young Artist Award winner in visual arts and dance. She was born Laura Winfogel uh, well, Malifi, but this artist has achieved fame through the persona of Scully. She uses her art to expose unanswered sex crimes in her native South Africa. Also, Tamsang Amajela, as Lebo said, is a contemporary dance artist. He uses multidisciplinary theatre dance work, which tells a tale of manhood, sexuality, abuse and authority. Tami is joining us via Zoom and we have Scully in studio with us this morning. A very good morning to you, Scully. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me. And um, a very good morning to you too, Tami. I hope you are connected with us now. All right, we're trying to establish connection with uh, uh, Tami Majela, who is on Zoom. But uh, we'll continue this conversation with uh, Scully. First of all, congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs> well done. So what is the subject matter uh, as, a visual artist, uh, vis as a visual artist for you? Uh, you mean for the festival? For the festival, yes. For the festival, I have decided to tap into my heritage as a brown person in South Africa which is, of course, a very complex way of being. Mm. Um, and I find that being colored or so-called colored is definitely defined by a void or a hole or a gap. And so my show is going to be called Groot Gat, which mm. is like talking about the gap in our history and the strategic forgetting um, mm. of mm. our heritage as colored people or as brown people or as Bushmen or as however you want to define yourself. And uh, do you feel under pressure to express yourself and your heritage through your work? I mean, just to dispel some of the ongoing myths about uh, one's heritage and yeah. about one's uh, skin color? Well, you know, there's all the stereotypes of, of being brown. Yeah, so there's yeah. being wild, there's being loud. Um, and I am all of those things. So sometimes mm -hmm. stereotypes are true. Um, but am I under pressure? Definitely. We're only on this planet once um, and I'm someone who talks a lot and often says almost nothing. Mm. Um, and so with this show, I'm really just trying to encourage people to try and tap into who they are and what they are and define themselves before other people do it for them. Mm, you say that you eventually say nothing, but I guess your <laughs> art says a lot, talks yes, a lot. Isn't it does, it? it does. And how much of your own personal life and experience do you pour into your art? Uh, everything, life, art is about commenting on our social standing and what's happening to us at this very moment yeah. and what else to talk about but the thing you know the best, hopefully, mm, which mm. is yourself. Mm. Um, I'm also just very, very excited to have won Standard Bank because it's something I've always wanted since I was a child. Um, and this year, if I hadn't won it this year, I wouldn't have been able to win it um, because of the age cutoff. Yeah. And so I'm very grateful that Standard Bank made the correct decision. I mean, this is huge. Me. I mean, a Standard Bank Young Artist Award is huge. And it I is. know so many doors will open for you. Yeah. So what are these doors that you're hoping that will open as a result of being a recipient of this award? The, I always talk about the visual arts sphere as being made up, you know. It's kind uh -huh. of like a world of make-believe and of pretend and of perceived value. Yes. And so for me, winning the Standard Bank Award is a door that I didn't have to kick down myself, which mm. is something I've mm. had to do mm. the whole time. Now, finally, someone has said, hey, we acknowledge you and we validate you with this award. And so I'm hoping... Definitely because the show is traveling, which is the first show of mine that's ever traveled. I'm hoping to reach brown people from all over South Africa. Yeah. Um, however you perceive yourself, whether you're colored, whether you're a Bushman, whether you're Koi or San or Khrikwa or Kuku, you know, I want people to see the show and try to find themselves in it. As much as your, you know, your personal experiences and your life is reflected through your work. Mm. I suppose there's a multiplicity of subjects that you also explore. What is it that you talk about through your work? I talk a lot about, I call it Papsak propaganda. So I talk about like the DOP system. Um, I talk about sexual violence within South Africa, yeah. being a woman in South Africa. I mean, what else is there but to talk about violence when you're a woman in South Africa or the fear of violence? I like to call South Africa kind of like a waiting room because you're always expecting something to happen to you here. Mm. Um, so I kind of try and tap into that energy and that anxiety um, to make something beautiful and something that 
looks beautiful and draws you in but sometimes when you come close enough you realize it's actually about something very ugly mm, mm. so that's really what i talk about and uh, i suppose it's worth mentioning that you also touch on the unanswered sex crimes here in south africa yeah definitely i think um i'm a libra so i'm very big on justice you know yes, justice yes. you guys um but in south africa we don't really get that and so often I like to talk about the things within my art that is unanswered or yeah. revenge. You know, I think women would understand this. Revenge is one of the coldest and warmest things um, on this planet. Um, and often when things are unanswered or justice hasn't been served, that is kind of where your mind always goes. So I kind of try to put that chaotic energy of revenge into a lot of my work. Mm. You know, Scully, we've done it all. I mean, we've uh, we've held marches, uh, you know, in support of fights against gender-based violence and all sex crimes. But uh, it seems to be continuing unabated. We've done it all. I mean, there's uh, pieces of legislation against this, and uh, there's NGOs trying to fight against sex crimes and yeah. gender-based violence. But it seems to be going on. I mean, what needs to be done? And do you think that art is the uh, most effective medium? To be, fight, to be taking this fight on? I'm a big fan of telenovelas yep. <laughs> and of art. I find that telenovelas the is art. Yeah. Um, and one day, once I've mastered Setswana, I will be like the light-skinned stepmother, <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, with it, because I do think that telenovelas and those things have a large reach and yes. they're things that reach a lot of people. Mm, and so mm. with art and with music, um, definitely, that is things that can change how people think. But I think the answer lies with men. So oh, yes. we keep asking yes. women for the questions, but I think that men can answer it themselves. Um, mm. South Africa is just a place where violence is normalized. And so when something is made to be very normal, or it's happened to a lot of people, um, then it's normal. Then you know, normal. so yeah. it, in other places, it's like scary to imagine rape or to imagine these things happening to your sister, your mother or whoever. Um, but because it's been so normalized here, people kind of expect you to just, you know, smile, grin and bear right. it, you know, get over it. Right. So I think once we stop normalizing this, maybe then it will become better. Right. Scotty, lovely chatting to you, man. Thank you Thank so much you. for joining us. And I understand that uh, you also host a sex podcast, yeah? Oh, no, that was years and years ago. You must okay. be thinking about my very... Um, my very wild sister, Kim <laughs> Van Fuegel. She also has a show called Sex and Pleasure okay. on Showmax. Yeah. All right. All the best, Dave. Lovely chatting to you. Thank you so much. Good stuff. All right. From spoken word to dance to music to visual arts, jazz and theatre, these local stars have proven how far their greatness will grow. We just spoke to Standard Bank Young Artist Award winner, Scotty.